Hello, bookworms! Welcome to my May book haul part one. I'm gonna be filming two book hauls for this month because I'm going to BEA next week and I figured that it would be better to kind of split those up because chances are I'll grab a lot of books while I'm there and I would rather not post like a half an hour video. Anyway, I'll get right into it. The first book that I got this month I was actually sent by Simon & Schuster and I don't know if I have ever been so excited to get a book early because it's P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. This is the second book and conclusion to the To All the Boys I've Loved Before duology. I already read it because I just like obviously had to read this before anything else that I had on my TBR because I've been dying for this book to come out. Like actually dying for it to come out. So it like far surpassed my expectations. What happens in this book is that, oh, I don't want to give spoilers. Mm. The Song Sisters are back and better than ever. I'll tell you that much. And I hugged this book a few times. Um, I wrote a full review of it, which is on my blog, and I'll link that down below so that you can read like specifically why I loved it so much. It was fantastic and I like really really wish that she would write more of these characters because I am like so attached to them. The next book that I got in April is actually three books because the new editions of Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell came out and Fangirl is like one of my all-time favorite books so I went ahead and got all three editions. The light pink edition is available on Amazon or in indie bookstores the dark pink, like berry kind of color is exclusive to Barnes and Noble. And the yellow cover is um, exclusive to Indigo, which is a bookstore in Canada, but you can order it online, which is what I did. And since Canadian dollars are like way less than American dollars, it wasn't even too expensive with like shipping or anything. So I now own four copies of Fangirl and I'm very pleased with myself. And I would totally buy more if they came out in more colors because it's an amazing book. The next book that I picked up is Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. I have been hearing about this book on booktube like so much. I think like everyone that I've watched has talked about it so I feel like it's finally time for me to read it now that the second one is out. It's about this girl who is your typical southern belle and then she finds out that she has like powers kind of and I know everyone says that it's kind of hard to classify. It's kind of like a mix between contemporary but it's also kind of like fantasy-esque, so I'm not sure if it's like, would, would totally fall into magical, like the magical realism category, but I'll let you know once I read it. The next book that I got was also sent to me by Simon & Schuster, and this is in ARC of The Summer of Chasing Mermaids by Sarah Ockler. I'm about like more than halfway into it, and I'm enjoying it so far. It was inspired by The Little Mermaid, but besides some of the characters having similar names, there aren't too many similarities between The Little Mermaid and the book. One of the major things is that the main character doesn't have a voice because of some kind of accident, but we don't know exactly what it was yet, and I don't even know yet, and I'm this far into the book, so I would imagine I'll find out, like, toward the end. But I will like put this in my May wrap up and tell you a full review. So until then. The next book that I picked up is Great by Sarah Benacasa. And this book is um, a contemporary retelling of The Great Gatsby. It's about like rich kids in probably like California. Oh, the Hamptons. So it was like one of the two. Just like, you know, rich kids on the beach, but I am very excited to see the this interpretation because Great Gatsby is one of my favorite books and I've read it like a hundred times probably. The next book that I have is The Dreamland Social Club and this is by Tara Altabrando. I came across this book in The Strand. I haven't heard anything about it like anywhere. It's about characters on Coney Island, which is in New York City where I am, so it seemed like something that would be pertinent to my interests and um, I'm excited to read this and learn more about Coney Island and just see how it is in general because sometimes it's fun to read books that you haven't really heard too much about, just that you're not going into it with any kind of preconceived notions and this will be one of those for me because I feel like I always am looking up reviews and reading about things before I actually read them and for this one I haven't done that yet. 
The next book that I got is Pivot Point by Casey West. This book sounds really interesting. It's kind of described as like sliding doors. So it's this girl and she has the ability to see the outcomes of her choices like before they actually happen. So I guess her parents are like getting divorced or something and she has to decide whether she wants to live with her father or live with her mother. So you would think that that choice would be easy being able to see both outcomes uh, before making the choice, but she ends up seeing things that she's not expecting, so it becomes a lot more difficult for her to pick who it is that she wants to live with. And it's actually the first book in a duology, so I have to get the second one because I've heard good things about this and I feel like I'm going to want to marathon it once I finish. The last book that I picked up this month is How to Be Bad, and this is by three authors, um, E. Lockhart, Sarah, Milnowski, her name's really hard to say, and Lauren Miracle. Um, and I actually have almost no idea what this is about. I believe there's some kind of road trip because there are these three girls like laying on a car. But the reason that I picked it up is because E. Lockhart wrote, who wrote We Were Liars. I just loved that book when I read it and I kind of promised myself that no matter what else she wrote, I would pick it up. So as soon as I saw her name, I was like, done. That is it for my May book haul. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I would love to know what you picked up this month and what you're reading, or if you've even read any of the books that I've picked up, and you can leave your opinions down in the comments below. So until my May book haul part two, happy reading! It was P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. Jenny Han. 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 <laughs> Why did I do that? I keep making weird faces. So. Yeah. Until then.